How is your country dealing with climate change? What we have been doing is introducing uh, new technologies, really in terms of like solar technology. Uh, for instance, we were actually pioneers of the solar water heater, and that was over 30 years ago. Um, and those have been extremely prominent in Barbados. In addition to that, now more lately, we have gone the world's solar electricity, where we have been able to work out with the power company a means by which householders can actually generate their own electricity. And of course, it is being paid for by the local light and power company. This has meant a lot of negotiation between the traditional providers of power and of course persons who want to get into the whole area of renewable energy generation. But the thing is it has worked pretty well and with the range of tax allowances and benefits that are provided to persons who want to go into that area, um, it has paid a lot of dividends going forward. How is the United Nations involved in your fight against climate change? Well, certainly Barbados has been able to benefit from some UN funds for those kind of targeted projects, which, of course, facilitate the access of householders and ordinary people to, to, the, to, these, to these, these type of technologies. And of course, what is important more than anything else is to get buy-in by the population, by the ordinary person. So therefore, we have to spend a lot of time educating people on the benefits of um, renewable energy and how it will help not only themselves, but the society as a whole by reducing greenhouse gas emissions, by adopting other forms of power generation. Because what, what sometimes we found that people do not appreciate is the impact that their actions are actually having on the environment. Because sometimes we have a particular way of doing things and, some, and we do not understand how it is impacting on other people. So that is where we have had to concentrate on the ordinary householder, the ordinary voter, put it that way, um, the ordinary person. Even in schools, we have had an excellent program in schools involving young people in the effort to recognize how they can make a significant difference in terms of the whole area of reducing um, greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. What resonated most with you from this workshop? I believe the, the, the workshop um, has basically exposed certain things that are in our societies. But I think the strongest lesson that can be taken away from the workshop is the need to, to, to drill down to people and get them to embrace um, the, the things that would help them to change. Because what is, is clear is that a lot of the reasons why we are seeing the practices that we see people are doing that, that are actually co contributing to the worsening of the situation is that a lot of people are not aware. And sometimes they are absorbed of responsibility or may, they think they are not responsible. It is somebody else's fault. I think in, in the context of the workshop, clearly it shows really that our own individual actions are responsible. And it also shows too, and the, the data shows that really we have to help people to understand that. We, I think at the level of the parliamentarians, it has it reinforced what we know, and I think that that is what is important. But be, beyond us, and I think that that is where we have now the challenge of, give, of helping to transmit that information and give them even a greater reason and a greater urgency in terms of moving in the direction of adopting renewable energy technologies. Thank you.